Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the virtual memory size in your Windows computer. This is usually for lower powered computers, so if you only have one or two gigabytes of RAM, and perhaps you do not have a really fast computer, this might be able to help you out a little bit. Generally speaking, if you have about four gigabytes of RAM or more, you probably don't need to do that because your other hardware is probably also going to be sufficient enough that it probably won't really benefit you in order to do this. But I'm going to just show you guys how to do it for this tutorial, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in Run, so R-U-N. Best match should come back with Run. Left click on that one time. Now into the Run field, you want to type in S-Y-S. DM.CPL exactly it appears on my screen and you want to left click on OK so now that we are in the system properties window here you want to go ahead and left click on the advanced tab and then underneath performance where it says visual effects processor scheduling memory usage and virtual memory you want to go ahead and left click on the settings button Now in the performance options window, you want to left click on advanced. And where it says virtual memory, right across from where it says total paging file size for all drives, left click on this change button. You want to uncheck the box where it says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. And you can select the custom size here. So generally speaking, you want this amount in megabytes to be between two and a half to three or so times the amount of RAM that's installed in your system. So keep in mind that there's 1024 megabytes within one gigabyte. So you would just multiply 1024 times however many gigabytes you have on your computer and then multiply that by a factor of two and a half or two if you want to be a little bit safer. So you could do about two. I would say two and a half probably. Three is a little high in my opinion but two is probably about as far as I would personally want to go. So again, you just multiply 1024 times however many gigabytes of RAM you have on your system times a factor of however big you want to make this file. So generally, I'd say between two to two and a half. So you just would type that in there. And then you go ahead and left click on set once you type in these values in there. So once you did set, you left click on OK once you're done. And you just close out of here and you would have to restart your computer for it to take effect. So pretty straightforward tutorial guys, do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.